talk about this E minor arpeggio in the C shape based on this E minor chord. So last time we talked about this major arpeggio on the D chord. So we're going to slide up one step, which is two frets, to the root note of E. And we're going to work on this E minor chord right here in the C shape. It doesn't look much like a C shape anymore, but it's related to this C shape. It's just one finger stretching uh, one fret extra so still the c shape and here is the e minor chord that it's built around again you could on this because it's e minor you can let the high e note ring out if you want but it might be good practice to turn that finger down a little that high string so you're in control of it. So uh, the arpeggio starts on the E. So on the chart it'll say the one, the flat third which is a G in this case, uh, the fifth is a B and then there's the octave the E. So let's just practice this E minor arpeggio at a nice slow pace. There we go. E four. add the extended notes which if you remember it just repeats the pattern on these low two strings on the higher strings and shifts it a step that way so we have E G B and then I'm gonna go ahead and take my pinky and slide to this other E right here E G, B, E, G, B. It's a bit of a finger stretcher, like a giant spider crawling up and down the neck. But this uh, particular arpeggio is cool because back in my home first position G note right there so you're really getting around the neck from the ninth fret down to the third fret on this particular one so it's good finger strengthening exercise as well as a nice anyway, let's practice this at a slow pace with the extended notes Four. Forget to mention that I'm, this, I'm going to play this higher E right here twice. Shall we try it a little faster, double time, with the big stretches? Uh, this one's hard for me. I'm gonna, I'll probably make some mistakes on this, but let me try it. 
two, three, four. week is to practice moving this arpeggio around have some fun with it now I'm doing this as a finger exercise and as a memorization tool to know where the notes are by playing it in sequence When you're practicing it, you could, of course, practice it that way, too. It's really good to work on your timing, holding the note, the duration of the note all the way up until you pluck the next note, and try not to make it too staccato sounding. Like... Try to make them, the notes run together smoothly, like a flute player, maybe. So you can practice moving this one around. Let's go, what do, you, what do you say? Let's go E, and then we'll go all the way up to B. So B is on the, what's that, 14th fret? No, 16th fret. So let's just go nice and slow between the E minor arpeggio and the B minor arpeggio. And let's not do the whole thing. Let's just do the first uh, four notes. Two, three, four. plenty of practice but if you want to do more you can also practice moving from the major arpeggio like we did on the first lesson on the C shape to the the 
minor one. Uh, here's one if you're really picking this up fast. So let's go from the D, D on the seventh, root, root note on the seventh, the major arpeggio. Let's go up to E minor. So we're up now we're on the ninth fret in the minor arpeggio. 11th fret, same minor arpeggio. Go one fret this time to the 12th fret for back to a major arpeggio. And to the 14th fret, the A major arpeggio. arpeggio. Major, minor, minor, major, major. See you next time.